The next morning, dazzling media. Leland slammed the table hard. Damn, if it wasn't for Dan, Dazzling wouldn't have become like this. It was originally a big slab of meat, but now it was nearly down to bare bones. He had no chest but to swallow it down. What infuriated him even more was after leaving Dazzling Media, Dan was doing better than ever. Wasn't this equivalent to slapping him in the face? When the special assistant saw his action, he rolled his eyes before he said, Director Killian, competing with Dan doesn't need to be so complicated. Everyone working in the entertainment industry today has a few connections at least. Dan doesn't have any power, nor does he know anyone in the city. He should only have a few security guards working for him. You should consider asking all streets hang for a waiver. Get them to cause trouble for Dan production so they can't even work on their movie. Special assistant reminded him, Director Killan, you have forgotten all three Zangsa's bones to pick with Sam. Now that Sam has ignored everyone and left Stasho Entertainment, you coincidentally bring it to all three Zang attention. You won't let this opportunity slip away, judging by his personality. Killian mood improved after reading this. You're right, go help me book a meeting with all three Zang. Tonight, at a a six-star hotel in Imperial City, a man with full hubs was wearing a black vest, patiently asked, what is it? Did you need me for something? Killian said, Zhang Ji, remember that Brad Sam who tarnished your reputation in such a public place. Are you, are you really going to let it go just like that? Aren't you letting him so easy? All through Zhang went silent and his eyes darkened. Before he set his eyes on a female artist and he wanted to forcibly take in the hand, that brought some ruined his plans and humiliated him publicly. He sank down the white wine in the glass in one go. Relax, this time I'll call myself. Killian was overjoyed. Zhang Ji, if you go personally, there definitely won't be any issues. <laughs> I really have to thank that brought some. Otherwise, to Zhang won't take this so personal. Night at a filming location for life and death struggle, a group of people are nervously filming when a loud this came from the locked entrance. Mark asked his fellow workers, what's going on? The employees glanced at one another before replying, it seems as though some fans have possibly entered and the security guards are blocking them. Because of this, they have begun to scold us and are causing conflict. Mark headed towards the noise and saw some familiar faces. Mark's expression darkened. These people aren't fun. He recognized these people as the underlining of all three zang. These people are clearly there to cause trouble. Incidents like this happened at a lot in the entertainment industry. Rival always hired others to pick fights over nothing and simply make a mess of things. The cost they were paying to rent their film location was charged by the day. If they were delayed in the filming by filming by one day not only will they pay extra fees but they will also delay the completion date of their film and they might even miss the best date for screening if that happened the losses will be immeasurable people usually didn't bother big companies but small companies like there often face this kind of scenario mark walked over zangji how are you so free today that you came to visit how about we find a place and sit down if there is a room for discussion, old Ruzan coldly laughed and directly replied, there is nothing to discuss, fuck off. After old Ruzan said that, he sat down in a nearby chair, go bring that brat Sam out here to see me. He was about to talk to old Ruzan when his cell suddenly rang. Han was calling, hey Han, Mark walked up to the side, hey bro, today I... Anne was about to speak when a loud noise rang through the phone from Mark's side and she quickly asked, what's going on over on your side? Why is it so noisy? It's nothing. Mark watched as those people prepared their machineries and urgently walked away a bit further. He tried to change the topic. What did you want to talk to me about just now? Did someone come to make trouble? Anne calmly asked. She was just thinking about the matter yesterday and didn't imagine that someone will come today bro don't rush make sure all the artists leave especially sam is so impatient so you have to stop him and prevent him from doing anything rash 
I will quickly call some people over to help and said quickly, people, who are you going to ask? Mark frowned. Coincidentally, I know some masters. Try to stabilize the situation first. I'm going to immediately call them over. Mark, masters, Anne, you probably don't know, but all three young people are mostly former Chinese boxers and can't be held off by ordinary people, not to mention all three young influence in the industry. Pro, I know my name is just try to stabilize things first and don't be rash. Call the group of five out. There is something I need you to deal with. The group appeared solemn. Master, whatever it is, please give us orders. There are people trying to cause problems over at the production site and they need backup and replied. She pondered who would be most suited for the job. The angrily rolled her sleeves. Who dares to have the guts to cause trouble for Master? But currently, Master was hiding her identity, so it made sense. Let me think about who to send and Mama. and she swept her gaze over the group of five. Master, me, 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 let me go. I will kill whoever you want. Just say the word. And didn't reply, but the corners of her lips curved upwards. You are only there to settle things. I'm not telling you to kill anyone. Judging by Mark Stone, the situation seemed fairly severe. The opponents were former members of the provincial Chinese boxing team, so sending a more reliable and responsible person will be better. The best fighter amongst the five was Lolita, so why not send Lolita? Thus, Anne ordered Lolita to head over. Imme Lolita immediately held the skirt and happily cut it before Cripsley saying, As you command, Master. And felt a bit regretful after making the decision. Say, isn't Lolita too vicious? Whatever being vicious was also a good film. At the filming location, smash it all. An endless rocket of shouting noises enveloped the area. As Mark kept worrying, Sam rushed out furiously from behind him. Fuck, the one son named Sang, aren't you doing all this because of me? I will take responsibility. So if you're looking for trouble, then come directly at me. Zhang Wei's case darkened her young master Sam. Don't be so impatient. Naturally, I haven't forgotten you. Today he will definitely return the humiliation this brat made him go through before. Mark angrily scolded him. Sam, who let you out here? Sam tossed his jacket to the side. Fuck, they are already stepping all over our faces and they still have to hide inside. Why don't we just fight? Rod with punches. Let's see who is really scared of who. Mark felt so stressed. This guy's personality was like fireworks. Once he was lit, it would explode. Mark grinded his teeth. Your tent told you to obediently stay inside and not to come out. Sam looked at the mess in the surrounding area and his expression darkened. Even if you mention Dan this time, it's useless. Kun let the entire production team get implicated because of him. Sam became even more determined to head out and settle things. At that moment, Marcus, who had been standing to the side, spoke. Dan cares about you. He's afraid you'll get hurt. Sam stopped at the words. No, he cares about you. Marcus then took this chance and dragged him back as he continued speaking, not to mention you're the star. If you get hurt, it will impact the production of the whole movie. The props and the equipment are negligible, but you're the most important here. Do you understand? Mark had that. He wanted to cry. Look, look how Marcus is so understanding. Zhang Wei noticed Sam had stopped proceeding fast, so he taunted. Weren't you ferocious when you stole my girl? So what? You're a coward. You are the coward, Sam furiously shouted back. Mark was afraid Sam would not be able to hold back and quickly went to restrain him. Sam, just wait a bit. Then is already bringing people over. Sam took a deep breath. The one son him saying, just you wait and see. Sam laughed out. You're still crazy. You still think of yourself at the Sam family's second young master let this old man tell you that even if your old man showed up here he can't protect you today sam jumped up and shouted my old man my ass i will tell you a secret my backing right now is even stronger than my old man just you wait when my boss comes you're dead mark this guy if his old man had what he just said he would die of anger zang Wei couldn't stop laughing <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so scared. It's like he also started to laugh. Second young master Sam, 
who is your boss he won't be that pretty boy called then hold he ha <laughs> too funny too funny so we sat back in his chair fine i will wait and also want to see what kind of people that strong boss of yours will bring to defeat me at that moment several of employees cried out in delight he's here he's here then he's here that's great as long as then here things will be fine following the cheers a white car parked at the side of the road everyone on the production team eagerly looked towards the car particularly Marcus Sam Sam as the assistant and everyone who had been with Dan for so long to them Dan could do anything and there wasn't any problem he couldn't solve so when they saw Dan's car arriving everyone let out a sigh of relief <laughs>